In the year 1476 AD, in the land that has now come to be known as Korea, King Song Jung of the Joseon Kingdom takes his second wife, the beautiful Lady Yun. But for all of her beauty, she proved to be temperamental, prone to conspiracy, and filled with envy. In 1477, she poisoned one of the king's concubines, but the last straw came in 1479 when in a fit of rage she clawed the king's face, leaving permanent scratch marks. Although the king attempted to hide the truth, his mother, Grand Queen Inzu, stripped Queen Yun of all her titles and sent her into exile. Powerful factions within the court argued over whether the deposed queen should be rehabilitated. But all hope for Queen Yun was lost when influential government officials within the opposition sentenced her to death and poisoned her. After her execution, the court believed that they had washed their hands of all matters relating to Queen Yun, but little did they know what would become of the queen's now motherless son, Prince Yongsengun, or the future that he would lay before them. At the age of 17, Yongsengun ascended the throne and became king of Joseon. Historical records praised his beauty, describing his body as thin and graceful, and his skin as bright as white jade. Early into his reign, he proved to be a keen administrator, who increased the national defense and provided aid for the poor. But underneath his exterior as a handsome leader and capable statesman, Yang Sun Gun showed signs of emotional instability. Shortly after becoming king, Yang Sun Gun killed one of his tutors, Zhou Sa Seo. It was apparent early on that King Yang Sun Gun had violent tendencies, but the full extent of the king's madness did not make itself known to the court. It was only after one fateful day, when the king uncovered the truth about his mother's disappearance and execution, did Yang Sun Gun begin to spiral lower than he had ever been before. For a long time, Yang Sun Gun had believed in a lie. Either his mother had disappeared without a reason, his father's third wife, Queen Jung Hyun, was his real mom, or some vague combination of the two. Upon learning about the gruesome fate of his mother, Yang Sun Gun attempted to at least restore all titles that his dead mother had held back to her. When this was denied by the influential Sarim political party, Yang Sun Gun waited for an opportunity to eliminate them. The opportunity arrived in 1498, where inter-court politics resulted in many members of the Sarim faction being accused of treason. Because of an excerpt they admitted into official records that questioned the method that the current royal bloodline used to attain power. Comparing the former King Seijo's seizing of the throne to the Chinese account of the Hegemon King and his role in the assassination of Emperor Yi of Chu. King Yongsengun allied with the Honggu faction and conducted a purge on his perceived enemies. As he executed officials, King Yongsengun made the entire court watch and he punished anyone who looked away, no matter what faction they were a part of. They were all forced to watch as oxen pulled the limbs off of former subordinates, or as their peers were beheaded. Even the remains of a former scholar, Kim Jong-jik, was dug up and beheaded as punishment. Yang Sun Gun began to trust his court less and less. Many of his officials were renowned for their service to the previous king, and when they criticized Yang Sun Gun, they often invoked how the previous king had done things differently. Yang Sun Gun began to question whether his own ministers were even loyal to him, or if their loyalty remained with his dead father. When the head eunuch Kim Cho's son, whose reputation was built from his time serving three kings, urged Yang Sun Gun to change his ways, the king responded by killing all of Kim Cho's son's relatives, personally cutting off his limbs, and filling his body with arrows until he died. When the king asked his court whether he had given out the appropriate punishment, none dared to speak up. Yang Sun Gun also ordered his ministers to wear a sign that read, A mouth is a door that brings in disaster. A tongue is a sword that cuts off a head. A body will be in peace as long as its mouth is closed and its tongue is deep within. This was widely regarded by history as a real power move. Later into his reign, King Yang Gun began to confide more and more into his royal consort, Zheng Nak Su. The two of them had a bit of an uncommon dynamic, 
where Jeng Nak Su would constantly treat Young Sengun as if he were her baby. Regardless of their odd relationship, royal consort Jeng Nak Su held a huge sway over the king, with none of the king's rulings ever untouched by her influence. She came to be viewed by the court as a sort of femme fatale, who encouraged King Young Sengun's worst tendencies. As time passed, Young Sengun became increasingly removed from the council of his court and began indulging in sexual pleasures. He turned the Royal University and Wangaksa Temple into his personal pleasure grounds, bringing in young girls and horses from all across the Korean peninsula for his sexual desires. He forced people to destroy residential areas in the capital and evicted 20,000 people in order to convert it into hunting grounds. When documents and posters criticizing the king surfaced, Young Sun Gun banned the use of Hangul, the Korean alphabet. But Young Sun Gun's magnum opus in depravity came when he grew even more unhinged, as he learned details of his mother's death from a man named Im Sa Hong. Presented to the king was information of the main supporters of the execution of Queen Yun, and a piece of fabric from the clothes of his own mother stained with the blood she vomited as she died of poison. This information put the king into a frenzy. For their parts in the execution of his mother, the concubines Jun and Um were beaten to death by the hands of their king. Grand Queen Inzu, Young Sen Gun's grandmother, lay dead after a heated dispute with her grandson. As another round of executions and purges began, Im Sa Hung was lavished with titles and awards. But Yang Sengun's punishments were no longer restrained to any one faction. He hit remnants of the Sarim faction and of the Hangu faction, killing the instigators of the first purge that he had supported earlier. He punished former conspirators against his mother, but he also punished those who were at court at the time for the crime of not saving her. He punished all their families, killing the men and enslaving the women. And once again, Corpses were dug up out of their graves, and their heads were made to roll. As the king went mad in his palace, four men found a solution to his tyranny. Park Wang Jung, Sung Hui An, Yu Sun Jung, and Hong Gyeong Ju launched a coup to seize power from Yang Sengun. As soldiers stormed the palace, they surrounded the home of Grand Prince Jin Song. Jin Song prepared to kill himself as he figured Young Sen Gun had finally come to take his brother's life. But as his wife talked him down, he found himself as the benefactor of the coup. He was now King Jung Jung of Joseon. King Young Sen Gun was demoted back down to prince and exiled. He died just three weeks later. Royal consort Jang Nak Su spent the last moments of her life miserable. She was publicly beheaded, and when she was dead, Many stayed to throw rocks at her dead body, and all of Young Sen Gun's young sons were killed. Young Sen Gun has come to be known as one of Korea's worst tyrants, probably the worst in pre modern history. Although he started as a king who showed compassion for the poor and was politically savvy, his underlying emotional instability and thirst to avenge his dead mother set him at odds with his own court. As a young prince, Young Sang Gun's mother's disappearance and death set the background for his violent tendencies, and formed within him an animosity with academics and court officials, which eventually overcame his talents as a ruler. As he uncovered more and more about the full extent of the conspiracy against his mother, he found himself unable to pull himself from his trauma and fell into cycles of vengeance and punishments, further pitting his officials against him. Young Sen Gun began to lose more and more political allies as his intolerance of his court grew, with his second purge hitting politicians that had cooperated with him earlier. As he saw fewer and fewer friends in his administration, he indulged in both cruelty and decadence, and he further confided in people that ultimately could not help him, like his favorite court jester Jong Gil and royal consort Jang Nak Su who continued to enable Young Sen Gun's despotic rule. As court politics and conspiracy created the pathway for the monster that King Young Sen Gun was to become, so too did it play a part in deciding Young Sen Gun's ultimate fate. 
And like Lady Yun all those years ago, Yang Sengun died not long after his exile, just three weeks later, with accounts speculating that he died of shock and grief. After six years with Lady Yun and the Mad King Yang Sengun's 12 years of misrule, the court moved itself to kill all of Yang Sengun's young princes and swiftly shifted the bloodline to that of his half-brother, now King Zheng Zhang. But does this mean that the court truly learned from their mistakes? Or would they continue to plan and play court politics with the lives of young nobles? And how did the common people of Joseon, who suffered years of misrule as a result, fit into the grand game of royal intrigue? Yun Sengun and his story now means many things to many people. A fun movie, a cool story, or a handful of weird trivia facts. But ultimately, his rule did not serve as a deterrent to court intervention but served to strengthen it in order to prevent a repeat of history. As shown with the re-establishment of the Office of Censors and the amount of control that the court expressed over Yang Sengun's successor. And if there's anything to take away from this story, let it be that people, even kings, are an expression of all the events they have lived through as they perceive them. Yang Sengun's actions were an expression of his life experiences, starting with Lady Yun and his mistrust of the court. But as he perceived himself to be surrounded by the people who turned against his mother, or perhaps were still loyal to his father, his reign began to be more and more of a reflection of his experiences. Was the blame solely Yong Sengun's? Or was Yong Sengun just a reflection of the court's earlier mishandlings coming home to roost? Whatever the case, I would like to take a moment to talk about the 2005 South Korean movie, The King and the Clown. The movie is set during the reign of King Yang Sengun and follows the characters of Jang Sen, played by Kem Woo Sung, and Jong Gil, played by Lee Jun Gi, as their wit and talent ultimately land them in Yang Sengun's court. I watched this movie as part of my research on the reign of Yang Sengun, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Knowing the real life history behind this movie makes some scenes really tense, because you almost get this dreadful feeling that you know the significance of certain scenes in the overall arc of Yang Sengun's madness. But the uncertainty of the fates of the non-historical characters is what kept me glued to my seat. But what I only realized after I'd watched the movie was that of all the characters I thought were fake, the gay clown character, played by actor Lee Jun Gi, is an actual historical figure, briefly mentioned in the annals of the Joseon dynasty. The movie is a great look into Joseon era clothing, life, and traditional entertainment, as well as a tragic examination of the characters of Jong Gil, Jang Seng, and Young Sen Gun and how government, corruption, and ambition can seem to move heaven and earth to keep you away from what matters most. And if you still want more, then you can read the material that the movie was adapted from, titled The Clowns by Kim tae Woon, which revolves more closely around the story of Jong Gil and apparently has different story beats and a different ending. I haven't gotten a chance to read this myself, but The Clowns is critically acclaimed in its own right. Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>